What is happening, crew? Welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year to all of you. As promised, I will be deep diving uh, some more of these amazing blockchain projects and uh, companies that are, are building these amazing things to bring us into a more decentralized world. Uh, that'll be a big, big mission for me this year. Uh, and I'm excited to get it started. Uh, very excited to get researching and uh, fire us all up on uh, where this is all headed. Uh, any, I'm definitely asking Pops, and I definitely got a list, and I'm writing a list down from all of you guys. If you have any blockchains that you would like talked about, discussed, would like us to look into, please write them below. We'll check them out. Thank you so much for the ones you submitted so far. We got a sweet, sweet list going. Yeah. I'm going to tell you the five things right off the bat. Uh, then I'm going to do a couple minute breakdown on each thing and then get you on with your beautiful day. Number one, what is it? Where is it headed? It's a cost-effective, efficient, decentralized data storage network. Boom, baby. Boom. Two, store, earn, provide. Or as they say, store, provide, and earn. And that we'll talk about peer-to-peer -peer networks. Number three, how does the chain work for the user and the providers? Number four, thinking big. Uh, and we'll just be talking about the company itself, uh, Protocol Labs, and what they're doing uh, with this, uh, which is just amazing. And number five, the overall feeling of that. Again, uh, amazing and exciting. As soon as I started to read about Filecoin, uh, I was hooked. Uh, it, was just, it was one of those, I was, every blockchain video I've ever done, I have mentioned the need for decentralized data storage. It's somewhere in there. And it's huge. I, I think it's up there with money and up there with voting and uh, other such things that, uh, that I would like to see people have a little more uh, control of and say in. And uh, yeah, that's it. Let's get it going. Okay, number one, what is it? Well, I already told you that it's a decentralized data storage network. But why is that important? What is, what is the need there for us? Like, why would we want to use that? Why would we want to do things that way? Uh, the way that we're doing things seems okay and fine, right? Well, the future, uh, especially as I've gotten in and researched uh, from these amazing people at Filecoin, um, and heard these lectures, and um, I, I would say that they are really trying to look towards the future and what where things are headed, uh, where they've come from, and particularly in the internet, uh, we've come from Web uh, 1.0, where you can get on a computer and you can read, right? Web 2.0, moved along, kind of where we're at now. Uh, where we can read, we can write, and like I'm doing with you right now, we can interact with each other. Web3 and why you create a decentralized network, uh, you want all of the transactions and um, all of your uh, ownership of your things to be verified, and you want those things to be immutable. Uh, those are basically like the standards and principles I feel like that are, that are blockchain. And, and, and when you get, when you get all those five that I talk about in blockchain five, you, you have security and hopefully you have uh, a standard that, that we will get to come to with these blockchains. And, and when we get to use them more as either providers or users that a standard that's not only do I want to just hand my data over to these to these centralized networks where they can make money on it they can um, use it and distribute it however they want 
They can deny us access to it. This is basically the opposite of that. This is this is an attempt to move into the op opposite way, empower you, and to create a whole network of us to be able to share our information with securely, quickly, and hopefully inexpensively. That is what I think Filecoin is and what it is doing and where it is going. Okay, how do these transactions work? Fee is paid by the user to store their data. The provider guarantees the storage of the data. Filecoin verifies the correct storage of that data. The user requests retrieval of the data. And a fee is paid by the user for the retrieval of that data. That is how transactions work on Filecoin. I jump to three, we'll go back to two now. Store, provide, earn. So, at this point, how can we play? How can we participate with this? We can be a user and you can go online right now and go to Filecoin and you got a business or you have a lot of things that you'd like to store securely. Uh, you can go to them work with their people and however much data you need to store. And I, I could not believe the options on that. Uh, definitely check it out if you're in the market. Um, but the ability to store and retrieve and then also the ability to earn. So you also have a chance to be a part of the network and doing that uh, downloading a node and being a storage provider. And that is like so cool. I mean, that's an opportunity for all of us who've got these, you know, now we're the last hard drive I bought, I think I bought for 50 bucks and it had like two terabytes on it. Uh, you know, just the ability to get involved and earn money that way. And, and be a part of a network. And anyway, that is a, that's, that's a way to look at it on both sides. So you've got the user. I might need to store my data. I might have a lot of storage. I might like to earn some money storing. Maybe that's my thing. Check it out. Okay, number four is thinking big. Okay, I know every other crypto person is just like me and we've all had this exact same thought. The thought is, what's that one blockchain going to be? What's that one big project going to be that is going to be able to play in the sandbox with all the other ones? And it's going to be able to translate here and it's going to be able to... And then your mind keeps thinking about it and you're like, well, it's probably not going to end up with one it's it's there's going to be you know multiple working together and what i heard just now in one of these seminars from the founder and it was it was fantastic was uh and i uh, saw the chart with my own eyes it was like oh that's that's what you want to do huh uh they want to be the main storage and they are building their layer one to be able to bridge and communicate with all the other big layer ones. So think Ethereum, think Cardano, think Solana. They want to be the main hub for information storage for that. So they're building. <laughs> And this is right. It, it, there's so much to think about if you're crypto people. Uh, it, it's it's going to be all about getting the scalability right, right? So right now, a lot of these can do hundred, thousand, ten thousand transactions. 
they want to be doing billions and trillions of transactions. That is thinking big. That is thinking global. Another really exciting, fun one to throw out there, uh, for those of you who do not know what the uh, interplanetary file system is, so this is also created by Protocol Labs. And interplanetary uh, file system basically, like, I'll tell you the fun fun aspect of it. Try put wrap your mind around this. Uh, when we eventually go to Mars, right? Uh, and we're on Mars, and we've got satellites and other things that are in between Earth and Mars, and you can transmit data to different points. So, so a peer-to-peer -peer network, um, you know, I've, I want to request a, a video. I want to request this YouTube video on my phone. So I'm going to ask YouTube for it. So YouTube sends me the video over for it. I would love to have that be even more smooth and faster, right? Can, can we make a, a system in the future where that is just more efficient and we can stretch farther and farther to other planets, for, per se? So you've got a node. You've got someone else who has this file that I want, this video that I want to watch, closer to me. Say my dad's in the next room, and he's got it on his phone. I'm able to get that data and information from him instead of requesting it from YouTube, which is across the country. So... Say you have a node and you've downloaded these videos and you're an uh, astronaut or a, uh, a colonizer on Mars and you want this video, well, it takes a long time. It's going to take a long time to transmit. Uh, I've, I've read from 8 minutes to 48 minutes uh, to transmit uh, messaging between the, the two planets. Well, it, why even go through that? If you have someone who's got a node and has that data on their device and you can request it from there, you don't have to spend 48 minutes trying to pull up some web page or some YouTube video. All of a sudden, you're able to boom right there. That is peer to peer networking with data. And that is what the interplanetary file system has done. And what, how I understand it, and uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, anybody, but but why Filecoin and, and why crypto had to come into the picture of that is you need people to be nodes. You need people to download the blockchain so that that information data can be shared at those po different points, the network all around the world. And eventually here in space and on different planets and all that. And so requesting that from each other and having it uh, at closer distances and uh, also giving it a more robust, uh, uh, you know, system or network for your data because you have more and more devices verifying those transactions. The blue... <laughs> The, I almost said booty. It was like booty and blue and the same thing. The beauty of blockchain, everybody. The beauty of blockchain. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Okay. We'll go right into number five. Overall feeling of Filecoin. Any blockchain project that wants to create a decentralized global community and design it in a way that, that provides a service for all of us that we can engage with, earn from, store our information, request retrieval for our information. I was so impressed with what I saw uh, just in their chart about how they're gonna be indexing the data so that they can get it back to you faster. 
It's so exciting. Um, and just a little, uh, little extra, um, if you guys want to keep going down the rabbit hole, uh, I, I highly suggest it. Um, keep checking out IPFS. Uh, check out web3.storage. Uh, amazing. Uh, uh, a very easy way to use uh, IPFS um, and uh, other forms of cloud storage, other projects that maybe um, uh, are, are not necessarily rivals with this, but are doing a similar thing, uh, might have a similar niche. Um, and please feel free to share those uh, uh, with us and we'll check them out. Uh, yep, that's... That's what I got for you on Filecoin today, everybody. Uh, I hope you have a great week and uh, stay awesome.